I really didn't want to go in and I nearly did fall in. Anyway, I should be right at the moment. Well, there was nothing in that, and there was nothing in that one anyway, so we'll, uh, I'll grab it. I think I'll put it up there a little bit more. G'day guys, on today's Fieldies Adventures, I'm trying out the new, uh, well they're not new, but this one is new. It's a round collapsible, and so I'm gonna give this one a bow. My preference has been what they call it, like the opera pot, so it comes up, folds up, and this is what I've had most success with. I do have a couple of these collapsible metal pots. Uh, I believe they can be a hit and a miss. Other people rave about them. But anyway, come along today, see how many crabs you got. I brought the pot along, we're gonna have a bit of a cook up. So I'll have a cook up, just basic uh, steam crab. So we'll have a crack at that. I just like to put a cable tie around the, these pots because they're not, they're not real secure. Sometimes when you're pulling up they tend to pop open so if you put a cable tie there I guess you can you can tell if someone's checked your pots or taken your pot or taken your crabs but uh, it's more so for the pot not open, opening up and um, losing your crabs which is more frustrating seeing them swim off than actually not getting them and we want the pot to land down so the meat's not up the top and the, and the crabs haven't got free fall for free feed so throw the pots then we want them to go face down as you can see it's a little bit windy uh, the wind the wind's been dropping off around uh, lunchtime doesn't really affect me here I'm, I'm in a sh somewhat sheltered creek or river and uh, we're just going to be fishing up the arms here um, pretty much out of that wind. Hey, look, you could go out there, it's, it, I think it's only blowing around seven to 10 knots, um, but just for today, I'm just gonna crab inside this creek and um, hopefully get a few. It's quite often uh, a few snapping handbags around here, so I don't wanna put them too far up the little creek and it, it dries out. I think it's a uh, two or three meters movement today. Um, yeah, so I don't want to put them up too far just yet to um, to be sitting on the mud bank and then the handbag decides to have a feed. But they can do that anyway underwater, but I, I, I'm expecting to do a pull in about 30 or 40 minutes and um, I should still be able to get access to these because these are still in about two metres of water there. So, I've got a mate, Dean, he's uh, he's just put in as well. So he's gone one way and I've gone the other way. So, uh, once we put the pots in, we'll, we'll go and have a look for him, see if we can find him and have a, a bevy. It's really remarkable. You just go around one corner and there's virtually no wind. Yeah, it's, it's almost like it's a different, a different place, different river. This looks pretty good though. Well, I think I might just drop one in here. Might try, uh, I've got a metal pot, one metal pot and a couple of collapsibles. And then I wanna try that that new one. That has four entries, which is uh, should make it access easier for the crabs. 
All right, lucky last. Uh, they've all got chicken in, so uh, first round will be chicken, and then later on I'll change the bait for a bit of snapper frame. All right, that fine, Dean. Are you having a win? Uh, couple, but Bob's been smashed up. Has it? Yeah, three. Oh. Yeah, crops. I had two in this this arm. I seen a three metre crop about halfway along. And the first pot I dropped where you put that one in the mouth and stuff around. Found Dean right up one of the arms. He's <laughs> just checking pots. He's had um, probably three of his five crab pots um, smashed by a crocodile. So I feel lucky at the moment. Touch wood. Um, mine are intact. Um, I don't know. Mine's in the in the, the bigger system. He's he's going right up into the rear of the system. So. I just gave him some extra bait so he can, um, yeah, he can go bait the rest of his pots after he's repaired them. All right, well, um, I'm just about due to go do another second pull. It's still not the tide's still not at the bottom yet, so we've still got a couple of hours, and, and it's better than being at work, eh? Hey, honestly. And my my favourite saying is, you won't catch him on the couch. So here we are. All right, it's been about 30 minutes, and uh, I'm just going to grab the check the first pot. Um, if it's legal, that'll be my first cook up, and I'll uh, I'll check the other pots. But um, what I'll do is I'll check this one. If it's if it's uh, a legal size crab, I'll uh, I'll keep it, and I'll, then I'll check the other pots, and then and then I'll do I'll do a little steam up on the water so all right let's have a look at this first wire trap i don't ever have much success with these guys and still the same Crab. There we go. One buck so far. He's going to be our sacrifice. Well, they're all sacrifices. Oh, but I'm going to cook him up on the boat. I'm going to boil him up. I'm going to have mud crab, um, steamed mud crab for lunch. So, all right. Let me uh, get this bad boy out. And I'll. I'll attempt to tie it too. Probably better if I'm um, doing a barefoot. Because I think you can get your toes under the back a bit easier. Under the, under the back of the swimmer, I think it was. 
and then we go around the nipper just pull them in Well, I think I missed a, I think I missed a couple of parts. Oh, well, can only get better at it. I can't get any worse. All right, I'll put that there. Take that. I seriously got to learn my prac keep practices in time, but I'm hopeless. And it's hard work by yourself. I'll throw this back in here for now. Seriously, I've got my doubts about them traps. I can't say I've actually ever caught a crab in those ones. I will see how the other collapsibles are going. My last one is the round one, the new four entry round pot. So I like, I like to think that feel pretty positive about that but it is going to the bottom of the tide so you know like fish they probably go off the bite too oh, and there's a crab in there they're having a good old little mung hey eh? But uh, uh, half past 12, I just done the second pull, the zip. So it's probably right on the bottom now. But we have had two other boats rock up too, but I think they're fishing. So yeah, it's, it looks looks almost like glass out here, it's perfect. You go down the bottom there. The wind steps it up a bit. Anyway, I think I'm gonna have a cook. So, uh, yeah, hang around. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait. Abnormal heart rate, high heart rate. Must be the crabs are ready, or well, nearly ready. Yeah. Well, 
we got four in this pot. Two of them are at least keepers. They just bump my numbers up. All right, the tide started pushing in. Uh, so this is uh, my third pull. Uh, last two pots, one pot had four in it, two keepers, two, two undersize. One of them had nothing. I think this is uh, the first wire pot I put in. I'll just see how that goes. Well, the old uh, wire pot has produced a good sized buck. Well, that surprised the crap out of me because I thought these were duds. Now I've got to get it out. That might be the thumbnail. He's a pretty big buck. I'm struggling with him at the moment. I'm trying to tie him. He won't. He won't play the game. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm puffing and panting. I've been trying to wrestle it with him, get him off the carpet. He wins. I can't tie him, but he is going in the bucket. Yeah, he, he's strong. I just can't tie him. Oh. Wow. It was extremely strong, aggressive. I tried two times to tie, and every time I tried to get that, that leg rope around his, his, his nipper, he, uh, he pulled it out. I was, uh, he's, he's, he's gone into a bucket there just, just to stop him, settle him down if that's even possible. I might throw him on ice, I don't know. I've still got that claw to eat. I just want to do these, this uh, other pull, so, all right. Is. All right, well, the crab's been cooked. It's cooled down in the esky. I've just done a circuit checking all the other pots and I only got two, two more crabs out of uh, five pots. But I am gonna eat this bad boy, or try anyway. I That's just the, the arm, that's, that's full. Oh. 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 Salt water lollipop. watching me um, eat mud crab. All right. I think it's gone underwater. Anyway, I've still got one crab down there on the ground. I think I ended up with seven crabs, so not a bad day out. All right, see you uh, at home.